such a pleasure to see you both again Likewise. and talk about uh, Jurassic World. Um, I was so excited watching it because, you know, it looks so real. The technology is so amazing that I felt very immersed in it. So from you guys' point of view, how excited do you get when you see it in the final version? Oh, it's so cool. It is. It's awesome to finally to finally see all your hard work uh, come together on the screen. It's, it feels great to see it. Yeah. And what do you think of the big monsters and how they're looking? I mean, they're looking like big monsters. Yes. <laughs> I mean, like real ones. Like, yes. Yeah. Absolutely terrifying. I, I think it's it's it never ends. Like it, it, the experience of just watching one of these movies mm. and just looking at these creatures and feeling just a sense of wonder and awe. Like that doesn't stop. And, right. and for us as actors, like even even though we made the movie, when we actually watch it, it's it's incredible. And then of course, when we were actually shooting the movie. On this one, we worked mm. with a ton of animatronic dinosaurs. So what oh, you're wow. seeing when yeah. you see the final movie is what we were actually seeing yeah. in real life. Yeah, in many, okay, in many instances, pretty cool. Uh, absolutely. Uh, so we see them in this one. They kind of, you know, they drif drifted a little bit apart, but, you know, th there's still hope for them. So what can we reveal? Yes. What can we reveal about, uh, about Claire and Owen? Yes. Um, well, you know... Uh, our, our relationship has evolved. It's it's slightly more complicated. Mm. I think that tension, that romantic tension we felt at the end of the first film, uh, you know, you get the sense that they immediately went somewhere and <laughs> stuck together for, <laughs> for survival. <laughs> and, um, and stuck indeed. Yeah, and, yes, yes. And since then, I think the, they had they had opposite reactions to how to handle the trauma of the events of the first film. She wants to really lean into it and try to do everything she can to 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 save the animals, to right what's wrong. And I think my character believes that you can't right what's wrong, and it's best to just go live your life and and run away from it a little bit. And that's a lesson he has to learn through the course of this film. And he learns it. Uh, he learns it from Claire. Yeah, Claire is. Just as passionate as can be, right, about the whole course. Mm -hmm, so tell mm -hmm. us a little bit more about that. Yeah, and what's going on with the dinosaurs and, you know, they're kind yes, of Yes, yes, yes. So, so, in, so in, in this movie, in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, there's, there's this extinction-level event that's happening on the island. There's um, a previously dormant volcano that, that's on the verge of eruption and, and will wipe out all of the dinosaurs if, if they are not, if, if they're not taken off the island. Mm -hmm and relocated. And so that's something that, that my character is is incredibly passionate about. I mean, she's someone who, in the first Jurassic World, she was a C-level executive, and she was somebody who really, she cared more about the bottom line than than these animals. And, and she went through a huge, huge journey in that first film, and so now she's, she's realized, you know, she's, she's, she's realized what she needs to do, and 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 the role that she played in in kind of just ruining everything and destroying <laughs> everything and people getting killed, and the role that she needs to play moving forward and being on the right side of history. If there were any metaphors to those dinosaur films, uh, what would they be to you in terms of you know science, technology, nature? Um, you know, be be careful. Uh, I think science is is wildly important, and advances in science are going to can save lives, and and you can do miraculous things with science. But always beware your motivating fa what motivates you. If it's greed, then that science can come back to bite you. Bite you indeed. <laughs> yes, quite literally in this story. Yeah. And finally, it's no secret that this is a trilogy, and it kind of sets it up for something very spectacular. So, what are you most looking forward to going forward? I mean, blue. I, 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 I mean, working together. I'm really, together. we have an awesome time doing these movies. Yes. It's great. It's, it's, but the character Blue is really, she's mm. like, in terms of this, this trilogy, I think that she's really kind of an amazing, an amazing new, new character that I cannot wait to see how her journey mm. evolves. Also, the yeah. prospect of potentially bringing back more characters. I mean, in this film, yeah. Jeff Goldblum makes an appearance. I, I love the idea that I could, we could potentially work with maybe other actors uh, from the previous uh, franchise uh, of Jurassic Park. I think that would be pretty amazing. Um, no, I'm not making any predictions or spoilers or anything like that, but just for me, uh, envisioning moving forward, because I haven't read a script for a third movie, that's something that would be very exciting to me and I think probably to a lot of fans yeah, as well. Yeah, for sure.